Well, doesn't this suck? Go to leave. Uh, drive to the end of my driveway. See, I had a low tire back up and she stalled and now the anti-theft is on. So I heard, look online, leave it in for 10 minutes and doesn't seem to be helping. So I am using a different key because yes, I sanitize my keys and uh, light goes off after a while, but still nothing. Hmm, very interesting. And I might add that it actually shut the truck down when I backed up. I uh, took out the compressor See, now the light went off, but still nothing. Uh, I also noticed it's not displaying the uh, current miles of the truck. Now the light's back on, and it'll blink five times, or maybe it's six times, and then once, and then it continues. Very interesting. So, and again, turn the key, absolutely nothing. And it did shut the truck off. Weird, hey? Okay, so looking online, it seems like it could be a bad ground issue uh because i'm getting the dashes across not communicating the kilometers was well, a good thing i was at princess auto and i uh picked up a lot of battery cable well just a welding cable here i got 25 feet of it but i'm going to try booster cable from the ground and uh see what it is yeah i picked up those guys were on sale for 29 bucks a kit of them uh the welding cable was on sale dirt cheap so i got uh two things of the studs and then nuts and bolts were on sale for five bucks i bought all this for the bowlins, but uh, it's going to be funny if I end up needing that. But I'm going to go clean off the ground and try it because uh, it could just be a grounding issue. It'd be nice if it's a simple fix like that. <laughs> Especially the fact that I'm 60 kilometers from a dealership and toll built. It's going to be like 250 bucks. And I was just about to go to Crappy Tire to return that compressor. Or not compressor. And... Well, so this guy here... You guys want to know what was wrong with it? Check that out. Yeah, she is full of ice, right? And uh, makes sense, the belt's gonna slip when it's full of ice, right? But other than that, everything else looks good. Here's the belt tensioner. And uh, I noticed something else wrong with it too, which kind of pisses me off. Look at this. Do you guys see that? You gotta come see this other thing I just found wrong with it that could have killed someone. Okay, hang on. Now I'm thinking tires don't look low. So we'll see here. Just give me a second. Okay, turn this to widescreen. So the ground cable here. Oh, the ground actually goes into there. Huh. Well, that might be interesting. Huh. I think my boot's a little broken there for the steering. It's just a boot. It's cold weather here, but I'm going to try hooking the booster cables up from the battery to a good chunk of metal somewhere. But yeah, a little bit green in the battery terminal there. I got another ground right here to the body. Right in there. That could be giving an issue. And the other... Main ground lug goes into the wiring harness and probably down to the engine block, I'm guessing. So just dual grounds on here. I can't really see that being an issue. Uh, I do see some poop in there from birds or something. So something might have been chewing in there. See the poop? Yeah. But again, it's like minus 30 outside. Very cold. Uh, but the lights and the heater and everything works good. So, But I heard those... Uh, could be a shitty ground so I'm gonna try that first so I guess I'm gonna start by disconnecting the battery letting it set off for a while I did just check out all the relays I swapped around a couple of them I don't see any difference there uh, notice my hood pops broken here <laughs> you got to get another one of those that's uh, to stop the hood from slamming keep it aligned not too big of a deal and the bumper and of course the front still broken but the idea is I'm going to be most likely getting a metal bumper on her but uh, now I'm going to uh, disconnect the battery. If that doesn't do anything, uh, what I'm going to do is start looking for the grounds in the system. I know there's one under here, and I thought I seen one over there when I had that open. Uh, but I'm going to disconnect it, let it sit 10 minutes, see what happens. Okay, so I just disconnected the battery. Before I disconnected the battery, I uh, tried cycling the key. I tried leaving the key on for 10 minutes, like they say, to reset it. None of that works. So I'm getting a one and then six 
uh, so a one six error code, which says uh, failure to communicate with the computer, you could say, dashes across here. And uh, from what I read online, uh, it's most likely a bad connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try uh, some jumper wires, maybe see if I get a better ground, give that a try and uh, go from there. But right now I'm letting the battery sit disconnected. I'll leave it disconnected for 10 minutes. I cycled everything and we'll see what happens. And uh, I should mention, I don't have a scan tool here. I uh, kind of wish I did. It's at my dad's in the... Well, she is running. I don't know how long she's going to run for if the problem is solved. But so I was getting a 1-6 error code from the immobilizer, PAPS control, I guess you could call it. So what I did is this ground lug under here, battery's still loose. Uh, this one here, I cleaned all that quickly. And then there's this black wire, which goes in here that both of them weren't that bad. So, so I got the uh, positive still pretty loose there. But I'm going to take it around town, drive it around. I was so close, so close to paying the $250 to send it on a tow truck. Uh, plus, you know, probably $400 at the dealership for them to do the grounding issue. Now, the thing is, uh, my boss in his vehicle, which isn't the Ford, it's a GM, had virtually the same issue when he was uh, stranded out of town. And it ended up being a bad ground. But the fact that this shut itself off is what makes me wonder. So, so I'm going to tighten up the battery, put it back in place, drive it around town for a bit before I do anything. Because I don't want this thing dying on the highway. Now, I had the low pressure tire warning light, but my tire actually does look low. So, <laughs> uh, probably what that is. So that is still on the low pressure tire warning and my kilometers are 139,956 and what so get some heat going in here i should tighten uh tighten up the battery terminals before i start putting too big of a load on her so <laughs> oh i reversed it in with the that's why it was hard to reverse i had the e-brake on i turned on the e-brake so it shuts off the headlights when i was trying to reset it not to kill the battery so yeah interesting uh, one more thing I should mention is uh, this truck always started shitty not being plugged in in cold weather. I got a Group 34 battery that fits it. I just had to uh, bend this plate a little bit here, bend the other side, and uh, the whole front of the battery tray I had to modify that, flex it, but it does fit. And the factory hold down works, which is loose now. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that there was the issue. I didn't put dielectric on it. Of course, my positive has dielectric, but that's when I changed the battery. It's too cold outside to do it proper. So what I'm going to have to do is bring this in the garage and uh, do it proper. But not today. It's too cold. I'm going to cycle it a few times, drive it forward, backwards, make sure she's good before I hit the highway. Because, yeah, I don't really want to have to uh, call and uh, get a tow truck. Especially the fact that half of this trip that we do... We got 20 kilometers of dead zone with no cell service. Well, I think she's good. Somehow I lost my short extension in my eight mil long socket. And I'm thinking I might have left it under the hood somewhere. So I'm just looking where I spun my tires and where I was driving around like a maniac. Because, uh, is that poop or? Yeah, that's a leaf. Okay, I don't see it anywhere here. And also my toes are freaking freezing. So I'm also warming up my toes. It's probably in my pocket, but you know, no harm in walking around taking a quick peek here. Uh, but everything seems to be good now. So yeah, bad ground. But uh, one thing I should mention, even after I fixed the grounds, I still got the 1.6 cold, but then reset it and it was fine. So, <laughs> figured that out even after I reset it like 10 times. But, okay, well I don't see the socket anywhere, so. I sure hope it didn't fall underneath the battery. Yeah, if it did, it just stays in there. That's where I spun my tires out of there. So it's probably on the floor, actually, in the truck. Or maybe it was just never in the kit. I just always look and see what's in the kit before I do, you know, put away stuff. Might have brought it in with me, too, but... Well, I'm going to call it that's good. Okay, so everything seems to be good now. 
I uh, basically drove it around for a bit and uh, no issue whatsoever. We put on 150 kilometers yesterday on her and no problems. And other than that, uh, everything seems to be good. I do need to get some dielectric onto, uh, onto the lugs, you could say. But I'll probably just use fluid film because fluid film is dielectric. And I'll just spray down all the grounds. Snowmobiles playing like crazy out here. But I think that's where I'll leave it. Everything seems to be good. And uh, hopefully I don't have that problem again. Well, I guess that's uh, going to call this guy fixed. Drove 200 kilometers with her. Shut her off and on like 20 times. And I'm going to call it perfectly fine. No issues uh, other than the bad ground. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, hey? But at the same time, all the salt, all the corrosion on the roads, it kind of makes sense. But uh, terminals were, you could say, a little bit dirty, but it's weird. But it makes sense that those sensors have to sense even a little bit of a voltage change to make sure someone's not trying to hack it, I guess you could say. <laughs> so, yeah, that is it. Just finished snow blowing everything with the Bolins that I got running, finally. And uh, I'm going to go hibernate now. So, yeah. Well, it looks like it's looks like it's not fixed, hey? Damn it! Just about to turn onto a main street. I don't know if it's going to stall on me. God damn it! And I thought it was fixed, hey? Uh, you can see what I'm seeing. Yeah, just on my way home from work. Well, no gauge cluster. Let's see what happens. Yep. Same as before. Absolutely nothing. Okay, well, that sucks. Well, back into the city, so found a few more things wrong with her. <laughs> I either got about an hour to get her fixed, I was able to park it, or I got to take that to work. But I think this is just for the loom, but that bolt is very loose. <laughs> Underneath is the ground going into the harness. These here all look pretty bad, but that's all just recent. It wasn't that bad the other day. Uh, the engine ground up there, so I'll be doing those two. But it is, again, very cold outside, so... I'll film if I get it working. <laughs> the old man's de-icing his, his uh, rooftop with hot water. Yeah. A little bit of insulation issue, but just enjoying some cigars. So, fancy, fancy. Oh, I mean, that's not even going to show up on the camera, is it? And uh, deciding if I'm going to bring my truck in here and uh, do some wiggle tests on the wires under the dash. I figure it's on the emergency brake-ish area. Now, when I originally backed up my truck in my driveway, I thought it stalled, but maybe it didn't. <laughs> yeah, hot water. This is fun. Especially the fact it's leaking on my hands, but yeah, I got to get rid of these ice dams. That's my project for today. And there goes my truck on the tow truck there. Off to the Ford dealership I bought it at. We'll see what kind of money they're going to nail me with, but gone. <laughs> Are you a sad puppy today? <coughs> nope. Doesn't work. Are you in your cave? Proxy. Are you having fun up there? <laughs> Behind the snow hill. Uh, the truck is back and got a little bit of an update. Uh, river's starting to break up a little. 
Yeah, you go that way, Proxy. That looks very wet. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's pretty slushy. And so is it going to be through here? <laughs> nah, it's pretty good in here. Oh, there's someone walking this way. <laughs> Am I on video? You are on video. Okay, hello. <laughs> you just want to say hi. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at all the connectors here. Basically, every single connector I could find. I'm taking off the passenger kick panel now. Going to check out uh, if I got any corrosion in there. Well, I guess Dale's taking that apart, but can't really see it. It's in the dark. So, other than that, there's a wiring under here. Maybe I'll insert a picture. I gave everything a wiggle test with it running. Cannot get it to fail. Uh, again, I cleaned up all the grounds. And uh, then I sent it to Ford in the error state because I wanted them just to take a look at it because I was kind of in a hurry needed it. Uh, they couldn't find anything wrong. So they said, oh, possibly there could be a crack in your computer. And that's on back order for the past year. So we can't help you. And they wanted 500 bucks. And I told them, well, if you can't fix it, why should I pay? And long story short is I never had to pay for them to look at it. Had to pay for them to look at it. Uh, but all they did pretty much was pulled the main ECU and uh, the truck started back up, and that's exactly what I did at my house. Unhooked the battery, truck started up perfectly fine. Pats proved out. Again, it's getting a Pats 1.6 error code. Now, the Pats controller is actually kind of a hybrid system. Half of it's in here, and half of it's in the gauge cluster. So, at the same time, when the truck so-called stalled at my house, I actually thinking now the truck never stalled. The gauge just died. Same thing that happened when I was leaving work. So for me telling Ford that the truck died, that might have kind of screwed things up because it never died. I shut it off to try to restart it, but it was already running. Just never caught that because, you know, I was backing up at my house. Uh, so long story short is I checked all the connectors. There is signs of moisture in those, but no corrosion, just a little bit of wetness. But it could also be factory dielectric grease. Uh, basically, I'm just checking over every single connector I could find and uh, go from there. Again, did a full wiggle test. Wiggled all the wiring, got my hands everywhere, wiggled it. I even took it on a hell of a shit kick on the way back from Ford. And again, I drove 500 kilometers with it, but is this going to be an issue that's only in cold weather? Really hard to say. Again, Ford was not able to solve the issue. They did verify that I got proper power there. Now, I did change it and clean up the two grounds at the back firewall before I sent it to Ford, and I did not reset the battery because I thought best way to send it to them is in an error state instead of when it's running. Because if it's running, <laughs> yeah, it would be hard to track down. So this could be one of those gremlins that might possibly only happen in cold weather. Uh, I am now going to start pulling apart some connectors under the dash. Uh, there's the big one right there. Again, passes the wiggle test, and I was pretty hard on it. Uh, down here, I'm going to pull off this cover, the main junction box here for the power. There has been so many people that had issues with rust and corrosion but i stuck my hands back up in there wiggled everything in there when the truck was running could not get the same symptoms uh but i guess we'll go from there it could just be again moisture underneath it really hard to say yummy A little bit of crud stuck in the bottom and there's the fuel pump reset and that ground right there is what I'm going to clean up. Well, I guess Dale's doing this side. Yeah, a little bit of shit got in there, eh? Yeah. What a good place for some electronic components, eh? Yeah. And right there's the wiring harness right there that I'm going to split open. I do notice, if it shows up on video there, the green... I'll try to zoom in. I see one wire that's a little sketchy. Let's see here. Nope, too far. The one wire in the center, the one the brown and the green, it kind of is the one that's bent on the far left. That one looks a little sketchy, but I got to get that harness unplugged. Okay, so it's been about a week since I had problems with the truck. Uh, no issues since. So I'm thinking if I get the same issues, the next step is going to be to smack the dash really hard and uh, kind of see they have some issues with solder joints on the main gauge cluster itself, normally the top two pins. 
Uh, that kind of seems like it's an issue with the Ford Focuses and a few other cars too. So, but at the same time, that would be a pretty easy fix. I looked it up. Yeah, shouldn't be that bad. Sure beats replacing the gauge cluster because it actually has to be programmed. It's a hybrid system, so half of the coldings on the cluster and the other half's on the main computer. But yeah, pretty shitty weather today. First time uh, going to my house now in a uh, oh about five days. So. Lots of cars pulled over to the side, pretty shitty weather. Well, near zero visibility. Didn't think I choose the best day to come here, hey? Good thing uh, I'm on the gravel road, so it's pretty simple. <laughs> oh, you're all gonna be chicken shits, hey? Every one of you? Finally getting some warm weather here. The deers are starting to move, and uh, these, this batch is just being a chicken shit clearly here. And of course I passed them there. I still see you. No one coming behind me. I got a few seconds here. Meow. <laughs> yeah. But it's starting to warm up finally. It's starting to melt. And uh, no issues whatsoever with the truck. So that's a good bonus. So maybe I'll upload the video and say it's fixed. Hard to say. <laughs> it's been. Uh, Oh, a thousand kilometers, I don't know, something like that in a couple weeks. Oh, are you kidding me? You're not even going to focus, hey? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why that lens isn't focusing no more. Weird. Just was watching the deer run by, but that sucks. <laughs> see it? Yep, there's one. I was going to say, see if they come out bouncing all around the corner here. Try that second lens again. There we go. I don't want to scare them because they don't want to jump up into the deep snow. And I guess that one doesn't really care too much. Oh, there's this trail. That's the trail that goes up. There's the other three uh, running up ahead there, clearly. Four or five of them. Wow, they're everywhere today. Holy. So, well, I brought my truck to my dad's uh, wanting to work on it and find out his uh, spring exploded. Yeah, it's broken right in the center of the screen there where the gap is, or, oh, that's not gonna work. Yeah, okay, it's broken right there. And uh, yeah, so the door's not gonna open with one spring broken, we just probably snap the belt. This is a belt drive opener, but uh, I was giving Proxy some of her food, and uh, yeah, when that broke, it must have really went flying. <laughs> wow. Guess I won't be rotating my tires and doing an oil change this week. So my dad has to find someone to come install that because to be honest, it's uh, pretty close to the ceiling there and uh, it could be done with, you know, special pry bars, you could say, or pipes, round stock, I guess, and you just crank it. Uh, but with the cable on there, the setup, it's not a job I would want to do, that's for sure. Probably better off to... Uh, pay to have that one done but yeah I bet you there's a lot more attention on that one spring right now <laughs> or maybe there wouldn't be I don't know all I know is that sucks meow yeah. Meow. 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 <laughs> what, now you're going to be a chicken shit? Yeah? You want to be a chicken shit now? You wait till I open the window, hey? <laughs> Meow. Sure. Yeah, wait until I open the window to be a chicken shit. And yet again, nothing but a rainy weekend and no clue what we'll get done. <laughs> I've got lots of stuff to figure out and lots to plan, but second weekend in a row with crazy rain. Well, you know it stopped raining when 
You got a million birds in your yard. <laughs> so many around the corner, but all I did this weekend. Basic door blocker because we're going to put some plants in here. Uh, as you can see in the sunroom, there is plant zilla literally everywhere. So put some more in here. Trucks here, you're not happy. Is your sunroom windows all being infiltrated by random plants everywhere? <laughs> I like smelling the plants. She likes sticking her nose in the catnip. I told you she was a cat. Yeah, it makes sense, eh? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shake his tail feathers for you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You want to come home and be dinner? No? <laughs> you're, just, you're just lucky I don't like turkey. <laughs> I am a turkey. I don't need more of it. Well, I guess I should finally finish up the video about the truck. I got 142,700 kilometers on her. And uh, I guess it's three months now, maybe two months, I don't know, since I've been having issues with her. And uh, yeah, I guess everything's good. Now, again, I cleaned up all the fuse, fuse, or fuses, I cleaned up all the grounds, pretty much all the ones I could find. And uh, I'm starting to wonder, it might have just been a moisture issue that the gauge cluster had to dry out. Because, you know, bringing it inside my dad's shop, leaving it sit there for hours going in the Ford sitting inside overnight uh, it could just be a moisture issue uh, but realistically all the grounds some of them kind of looked a little iffy but I mean it's really hard to say uh, just filling up my tire I uh, never bothered to uh, get my tire fixed yet <laughs> just fill it up every I don't know week and a half two weeks now and uh, it's been good but as you guys can see snow is almost gone uh, not much happening, but rain, 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 flooding, rain. No flooding, flooding in my yard, but I mean, lots of people are flooding, but I'm going to call this done. I'm going to upload the video again. Maybe I didn't solve the problem. It could have been a moisture issue, but at the same time, it's been going two months now without a single issue and running perfectly. Great fuel economy, probably resetting the computer helps with that, but plenty of power and no issues whatsoever. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Meow. You want to be a brat? Meow. Again? Sure hope you're not the same one. <laughs> huh. I guess this year we got turkeys. Yeah, I have seen them before out here, but yeah, that's very interesting. Well, I guess I'll shut this off, but <laughs> lots of turkeys out here this year. Well, that's where I'm going to leave the video with the truck again. I've been driving it for, I don't know, two or three months now. Not a single issue. Most of the snow is melted, warm weather. Uh, those issues were all happening during the cold too. So I don't know, it's weird, <laughs> but just on the way back into the city seen a couple turkeys and about eight deer and what looked to be a fox in the distance so lots of wildlife out this spring that's for sure okay well that's where i'm going to end the video again like i said it could have just been a moisture issue that just needed to dry up but i don't know we'll see we'll see if it comes back next year let's say but it, well, there's another deer i'm not sure if you guys can see him <laughs> there's a poo poo there too but yeah okay